Uh, so where were you born and where was your training in fashion? I was born in Canton, China. And uh, I, I mean, a lot of people ask me, do you graduate from Parsons? I say, no, I was graduated from Hong Polytechnic. Oh it's very interesting. People think that I graduated from Parsons. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, I, I was born in Canton. I people say, oh, do you, do you, are you born in America? No, I was born in Canton, China. I grew up in Hong Kong. Great. Um, and what propelled you to pursue fashion design as a career? I mean, I, I love, you know, dressing up myself, you know, and especially uh, Chinese New Year, you know. I, like, um, like a year or so, maybe I can maybe I'll start this question again, you know. Okay. <laughs> this question is a lot of people ask, and yeah. I just like, how oh, to. Um, okay, do you want to start again? Okay, you ask me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what propelled you to pursue fashion design as a career? When I was eight years old, I already started, you know, dressing up myself, and and especially Chinese New Year, you know, mm -hmm. I, I make clothes. Mm -hmm. We would, I mean, I was like sewing clothes for my mother, and then, because we don't have money, you know, to buy new clothes, mm -hmm. so we start making clothes, you know, like Chinese New Year. And then my mother would say that, you know, making your own clothes is only one piece in the world. It's the most special, most individual. So we go out to like, um, like free market and find all those like leftover fabrics from the factories. And, make our own clothes and that's how I, this is how I started. Wow. It was so exciting because you wear your own clothes and we make dresses for our sister my sisters and this is starting every year like that, you know, mm -hmm. and watching my mother making clothes, this is how I started. Mm -hmm. And I love dressing myself, you know, dressing up myself. Especially like like I remember you know the polytechnic time, you know, and I would make my own clothes and I go to the party and I say, everybody looking at me, wow it's so great and I love that and I love to hear that and people love what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. I feel so excited and feel encouraging. Mm -hmm. That's how I started making clothes. And I can't say with designing clothes, but I just love, you know, using my hand and making clothes and selecting the fabrics and it just makes something different. Then I wear something that is special than another people. Mm -hmm. And every day, you know, when I go to school, you know, even like like when I'm in high school, I love making my hair look different every day. Mm -hmm. And I tie differently with different headband or or making my headband very different, or like hairpin, mm -hmm. like you know, my bow will be different. The way that I braid my hair, I love my long hair. Like I, every day, I braid differently, and I braid my sister's hair for Chinese New Year. I just love playing myself, you know. And and uh, I don't, you know, like uh, people ask me, do you have my like, dolls to play with? I don't, you know. I play with myself and my sister. Mm -hmm. I view people, and I like at home. We were like really play around with all the towels and dressing up, you know, like my father's clothes, my mother's clothes. We love playing dressing up, you know, mm -hmm. to play around, you know, because we really don't, you know, like, I, I found that it's like much joy, you know, to really do a lot of things what was limited, you know, my mother would say, it's so limited, it's really creative when you're so limited on money and resources. Mm -hmm. I, I just found it's very happy, that time is so happy and exciting, you know, like, like tying like, you know, plastic bags, you know, making it's mm -hmm. fun, so much fun, you know, when I was young. Right. Now it's still a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, less time. I still love, like, make, I mean, using my hand. I love, you know, needlework. I'm the best one in needlework. Yeah. You know, and pattern making and all that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's yeah. a great answer. Yeah, I just, I just love it, you know, like, and my mother would say, use your hand because you really feel the material. Mm -hmm. You feel, you know, that when you feel the material, you know how to make it, you know. Mm -hmm. And making your own clothes, you really feel so much joy when you're making something that you wear for yourself. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, and then, and how did you set up your business in New York? I wasn't thinking about you know having a brand. You know, I really don't know anything about. You know, I just love making clothes and dress up and making beautiful. And it's only until like um, until when I was in school. And uh, you know, I went back to China again. You know, and found that you know, my God, China is so amazing. There's a place that where I was born, and but I didn't know anything about it, even though we study like Chinese history and Chinese uh, literature. But it's only two classes in, in a per week. And um, I found, that, my God, you know, now I'm really like in, in China, and everything is only Chinese, no mm -hmm. English. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they write beautifully. You know, they write like a poem. You know, the way they speak and the people and. The landscape is so amazing, and I thought, wow, this is really something I really didn't know, and, and maybe I should do something, you know, that to learn more about the the uh, the culture, you know, which I was I'm missing, you know, so mm -hmm. much, you know, you know, Hong Kong, growing Hong Kong, is bilingual, you know, mm -hmm. and, and
and I could, I mean, we go to temples, you know, like every first of the month, in the middle of the month, I would go, I would, I would go to the temple with my parents, you know, to pray, and then I've been, but, you know, studying in, in the school, I was in Catholic school and Christian school, you know, we, we sing hymns and we pray, I mean, it's very different, but Christmas, New Year, you know, it's all like, really like, so, so much a mixed culture, East, with man, uh, East, mm. Midwest, you know, and I just really find it like, it's a bit confused, you know, when I grew up in Hong Kong. So, but the moment when I, I was in China, I found this is really, really, I found some, but I found that it's really myself that I really didn't know. I really find more, I wanted to go deeper to find out who I am, you know, where, where I came from, you know, mm -hmm. and it's such a rich culture. And, and I also at the same time realized that why were Chinese only looking to the West, and only looking to Western brand, everything the West is the best, you know? And we have such a rich culture and rich materials and resources, you know? And it's why don't we why don't we really express it, you know? And um, and I'm thinking maybe maybe I should do something. There is a sense of like a mission and um, something that responsibility that I would love to do, you know, maybe Maybe what I'm doing, you know, I, I would love to use my skill, that fashion, maybe not necessarily fashion, like designing skill to to able to to adapt, you know, the culture into my work as a tool, you know, to express to the world. And and I also grew up, you know, with the Chinese family story. I, I I go to Chinese family store very often with my parents mm -hmm. to to look for fabrics to. To look at things to buy, you know. I mean, it's really. I always find the Chinese film stores very inspiring, you know. And I, I always question myself, even when I was young. I said, why, why the, why you know the products in the department store never changed? They always keep the same, like a souvenir. Mm -hmm. They never changed the material, the embroideries, the crochets, and and then the furniture. And I said, maybe you know, I should use my design skill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm doing. You know my, what I. Learning, you know, to to do something different, to to change, you know, to transform something into very modern designs, you know, using the fabric, how to, you know, we interpret the fabric, maybe the embroideries differently, and like the hand, uh, the uh, hands and craft is so beautiful. I mean, visit the dwellings. Oh my God! Every time I went to China, visit the arts and craft store, you know, like uh, a friendship store, I find mm -hmm. so inspiring. You know? but that's how I started. I wasn't thinking about like you know to do a brand it's just something that i feel so so deeply you know thinking i i have to do something like there is a mission there is a responsibility to do something and um, for my country for where i grew up and and something that you know and truly belongs to myself and i want to show you know the world you know like china is so amazing the history the culture you know why maybe why i'm not doing something you know? Why I follow the other people that mm -hmm. you know doing like something Western? I want to go into my culture and I want to learn myself too. Mm -hmm. And and also being with you know the people in China and uh, and I remember the first collection when I talked to you know to the Chinese people. You know what I mean? I went to the factories and like fabric factories and and sewing factories. I found it really inspired because I able to talk to them, learn a lot from them. You know the mm -hmm. culture, the the craftsmanship. You know. The, just so much to learn, you know, and uh, I would love to be able to use like each collection and able to to express, you know, the Chineseness to the world. Mm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, next question, but um, so, how does your background influence your career or any decisions? I live in Hong Kong, you know. Yeah. East, East, well, as far as us, I live in Hong Kong, East Midwest, you know, mm -hmm. and that's how. I is who I am, you know, that's, that's my work, you know, mm -hmm. it reflects on my work, you know. I put the uh, two, I put the East and West together in my work, you know, and I also live in New York. And I, in this very beginning, I, I wasn't really planning to come to New York, it was just like, it's very hard, you know, to be a fashion designer. I can't say we're a fashion designer, the designer in Hong Kong is at only, the only looking to the West. You know. mm -hmm. There's no place for me. My name is Chinese name, mm -hmm. and my work is inspired from the Chinese culture, there's no way that I can do anything. They say that you're going to be, you're not going to be successful. You're never going to be happy. Mm -hmm. There's nothing going to be happening. Therefore, I, that's why I came over here. I, 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 I designed a 12 piece of, you know, you know, 20 pieces. Close, you can't look at the back. You can, you know, wow. 
thinking, you know, it's my place. You know? <laughs> I can be who I am. And I really want to do something that belongs to myself. And, uh, and then people telling my friends and, and schoolmates in Kamil, Vivian, you'll never be successful. Why do you, why you have to use a, you have to use the Western name? You can't, you can't, uh, you can't have a Chinese name. Mm. And you have to use a different language. I mean, I'm also really thinking of Brian. I just want to do something that I really love and truly believe in it. You know? mm -hmm. And I hope that I can do something. You know, I, I really want to do something that is meaningful in life. You know, and able to use my skill to express something. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> um. So. Um, Okay, well, I sent over to Alan a few selections yes. of the, but maybe you can just talk, um, I can describe it to you. So there's one dress from, I think it was fall 2008, I have to check, and it's, um, it's kind of the classic cheap Which one? That? It's, um, 2008? Maybe, I'm, I might be getting like my years one? wrong. Um, I can describe it. So it's like a chupal neck, but then um, it has a, a big print of a Buddha, and then it's a little bit cocoon shaped in the skirt, and it's um, burnt orange. It might be earlier too. I'm just I have so many I have so many seasons running through my head. I was like, thinking about these pieces too. This is new though, right? This is a 2000. I think this is like this winter. Right, so this, the one you just showed. No, no, no. This winter now. Oh, fall 12. Yeah, yeah fall 12. It's um, about the opera. Yeah, this one's, this one actually would be great. I was like thinking. Yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe, so we can talk just we a can little bit. Uh, which one is that? It might be earlier. I have really? to check my email. I sent it to Alan. So. Did you, he, he, I asked him this morning, he said that I have to choose any. So can, can you call Alan? And I, I emailed Alan my selections and I see see Kaylee. Is that the other person? I mean, just like okay. you know, everybody, I guess everybody, every designer has their own house in that, you know, own journey and mm -hmm. their own uh, ways to express themselves. Mm -hmm. I just found it not. I really don't know that much about the Chinese culture. And it's very, for me, it's like to use. Mm -hmm. the, it's, I mean, to use what I'm doing as a fashion, the clothing designer, mm -hmm. you know, it's a vehicle to, mm -hmm. to bring the two culture together. Yes. I'm bringing the East to the West, the West to the East. Right. Yeah. And um, it just, it's, it's very simple. It's that, like, you should also think about building a brand mm -hmm. or, or making money. Mm -hmm. It's just something pure. Mm -hmm. Want to do something? Want to able to say something? You know, mm -hmm. work and able to use my skill. Mm -hmm. And it happened to become a brand or something. Like yeah. That. <laughs> I'm happy, you know. But but if if, 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 if what I'm doing able to try to um, how you say that to to make something different. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really, you know, that is really something that I want to do. And, Meaningful. Yeah. Well, I feel that I mean, what I'm doing has to have something to the world, to have to say something to the world, and also you know that has a soul. You know what I'm doing is mm -hmm. history, and uh, and some it's just more meaningful, just just than the fashion. Mm -hmm. I want it to be more than fashion design. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I also want to express women. Mm -hmm. You know, wear my clothes has a part you know, to the world. To the culture, you know, not just about fashion, fashion, you know, like conscious about what you wear, what kind of length, like that, you know. It's really more beyond just fashion. Mm -hmm. oh, I have a look. Yeah. Oh, this one. This one is a skeleton. Okay, do you still have that? I have to try to find it. But something, so I sent over, it was like something like that, but I do like the piece it's that you It's like a too. Tibetan skeleton, mm -hmm. and I quoted it. Okay. I can mention it to you. And it was really great in that piece too. Okay. I hope I can find it. Okay. <laughs> I love, I'm, I remember it was stuck in you know, like, uh, like the quoted thing inside the skeleton. It takes like days to, mm -hmm. to stuff in, you know, to make it cool to be fat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a traputo. The Italian yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, you know, because it's 
bigger because of, I mean we according to the print you know to make those soda and then you stuck in you know the, mm -hmm. uh, the coating into the each time the, the line oh. that we stuck it in stuck it in stuck it in. Oh my God! So it's not even cording. Where no, you stitch no, it's not cording. because it's along the print the skeleton. Oh my God. Right. I love that piece. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and also this piece just in case. We can yeah. See what so um, maybe if, if you want to talk a little bit about that piece and then this piece in relationship to your cultural idea. Yeah, that you know, like that that one is a chief, you know, mm -hmm. chief but with the skeleton. Mm -hmm. That collection is derived from. Let me see which which thing is it. Sorry. It's a uh, autumn winter two thousand seven. It was a Tibetan. It was a uh, Tibetan inspiration. That is a dancing skeleton. Mm. The print is dancing skeleton. You know the Chinese people, you know, hate the skeletons. You know? right. Now young people, you see a lot of young Chinese in America. You know? mm -hmm. uh, I remember when I was trying to do it, you know, people would say, "Don't do a skeleton. Nobody would buy it." But actually, it's quite good. Sale. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I loved. I mean, I love that. You know, designs. You know, it's a chunk you know? mm -hmm. But more. Um, uh, less traditional because it's more like um, a more modern body, you know, it's not yeah. fitted, but more modern. And also, you know, the, uh, the skeleton is like quilted skeleton. Mm -hmm. And then each time the quilted, you know, I remember, you know, the soles are stuck in the, you know, the, uh, the quilted inside. Mm -hmm. This really took a lot of time for mm -hmm. like a whole day to do just just the um, the quilted. Right. Yeah, it's a it's a very detailed because the print, mm -hmm. the skeletons of those skeleton, each one is like puffed up. Wow. Yeah, it's really really interesting. But after finish, it's really really beautiful. Everybody loved it because yeah. it's so three dimensional. Mm -hmm. And I love you know working on textures and like mm -hmm. my fabrics and the prints, my like layering texture. Mm -hmm. I love creating my own fabrics. Mm -hmm. And do you think that's from? The rich history of Chinese handwork. Yes, yeah, yeah. The handwork, and you know, I love. You see, my collection is a lot of handwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like really, it's, but the, it's a challenge how to always updating handwork, mm -hmm. updating like the embroideries, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I love working with the factories to find a new way mm -hmm. of like doing the embroideries and doing the embroidery on different fabrics. Mm -hmm. I want to talk. Should I talk about this yeah, piece too? Yeah, yeah, we can talk. Um, about this piece, my I think it's like this winter. You know, Mm -hmm. It's from the opera collection. Mm -hmm. You know, this is like a dragon. It's a it's dragon, but um, a dragon pattern derived from, from one of this uh, one of the dragon dragon robe, mm -hmm. and I make it into a lace and, and combine it two colors and, and, and lay them together. So you can see them all different mm -hmm. layer together, and you can cut out individual ones too. Mm -hmm. I decided that so you can cut out individual one of the patterns so you can overlay differently. Mm -hmm. If you look at the collection, the other pieces, they all kind of differently to many different. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I like it to wear like a, a shirt like underneath, so give like a really important mm -hmm. way of wearing it, how you can wear it. And people mm -hmm. can wear without the, the shirt underneath, mm -hmm. the collar, so they make it less traditional. Mm -hmm. By combining the modern and traditional to, tradition together. Mm -hmm. My clothes is always trying to like the yin and yang, the modern mm -hmm. and the tradition together, the east and the west. And the west. <laughs> no, it looks great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, like, it's well, primary colors, black, mm -hmm. white, and red. Mm -hmm. And then, um, now. This is a, a very hard to get questions. <laughs> um, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's very hard to question. Dance and what? Fashion. Um, I mean, do you think it's, is it, you know, global forces or internet or more media attention? Like, why, why do you think there's, there's just so much attention now? It just a seems brand. to, like, not stop, too, you know. One in the bread. Yeah, def I think I would say definitely the, the time span from, you know, 25 to 30 years ago to now, it seems more democratized. For me, you know, I'm feeling that you know people are less um, about themselves. They, mm -hmm. they are less confident about themselves now than before. That's why they need a brand to enhance themselves. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. 
that in the past, you know, you're like so much individual and you can wear anything, you can buy anything, you don't really care about what people think of. Mm. But now they really, because they lost themselves, they, they need other things to, to let people say, I'm rich, I wear a brand, mm. I wear something, this and that, you know, and to show people, to show some, to show off to the people. In the past, it's very different, they're very individual, they themselves has a very sense, sense of own ideas and how, to, how things look like and their own individuality and more about the individuals. Individual. Um, I hope that I can answer your questions. <laughs> the more you want, more. Uh, no, that's the last question. But no, I'm talking about the. Oh, for the last. I, I, I say something. I say something about that. You know, now it's just lost confidence. Oh, do you want us to repeat it, or do you? Want to do, oh, should I repeat it? That's not good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Or, I yeah. wonder if you could comment on the real interest in the last 10, 20 years on Chinese influence or the difference from when you started. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And the real concentrated interest right now on Chinese-inspired or chinese theme or style. You know, I remember the first time I went to China, I loved it. You know, everybody where, like, they wasn't really conscious about brands or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. And they were so interested, they, they, they got, like, blues, and, you know, the uniforms, like, blues and greens. And, but the little subtleties, you know, you see them there, they have the, the patches are very different. They show the individualities in the little patches. And then, you know, the socks they wear, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, go to twice and then you see women have layers and layer of, like, like clothes that like pants underneath. It's really the individual is like underneath. Mm -hmm. it's, I find it's very inspiring. And all maybe the skirt, you know, they have no money for line, lining. And they mm -hmm. like I remember the velvet skirt. They all like were just white lining, mm -hmm. like up to here. It's, it's a long like mm -hmm. dress, white lining only up to here because they're very. They don't have enough material, so the lining is only up to here. Wow. I find it's very interesting because mm -hmm. it's very um, like unconscious the fact. I, I find it real fashionable because it's so unconscious about the own individualities and and they because of a little small thing you know shows the way they're trying to be different and be so creative at the same time. Even the little cup you know they carry the the way they crochet a little thing they hold a little glass because it's hot water. I found okay, go ahead. Sorry. I, okay, so there's so much happening in the world. You know, they absorb a lot. You know, and then. It, because they are something too much, you know, they lost their own individuality. They lost themselves what you know what they want, their own judgment. They they too much about, you know, the, the internet, you know, want them, you know, this is great, this is great, this is a great brand, this is what you should wear, you know, they, they really lost themselves you know, and I feel very sad about it. Yeah. Instead of trying to to feel who they are and to think of what they should wear, you know, what they should use and you know, it's good for them, you know, and they just lost the sense of the oldness, you know, the truth of themselves. Mm -hmm. And they just want to buy, 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 it's about, you know, consumers. Mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, it's really, it's for me, a bit sad. I know that I'm in a part of the park. Yeah. And I, I, I'm trying to able, you know, I'm trying to do something that I think fashion is, is different, um, mm -hmm. just beyond, just about the fashion. Mm -hmm. And, and try to let people think, you know, what they're wearing and, and, mm -hmm. and just think, let you know, the, uh, creating a dialogue, you know, thinking mm -hmm. more beyond you know, just the fashion. Mm -hmm. I hope that answers your questions. Yeah. I actually have one question. You talked a lot about China. I'm wondering about the influence of being here in the U.S. on your maybe fashion sensibility or sense of who you are. New York, maybe oh, in particular, York, or yeah. is there any influence, or you just see oh, it definitely, New York definitely is a big influence on my work mm -hmm. as well. And it's a, it's a really, I mean, it's an amazing city. You know, it's, it's a, I mean, I I feel so energized and who, who I am. You know, because coming here is like being who I am and to look back, you know, my own culture. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you know, you're meeting so many interesting people. I mean, the conversation, you know, the museums and the people that you meet and the people that you see in the street is like, 
like a small United, even my office, small United Nation, a different culture all together, is doing mm -hmm. together, and it's really, really inspiring. Mm -hmm. Definitely, New York is a place that I found is most inspiring place as well for me. I mean, being like a creative person, you know. Mm -hmm. Just a conversation between friends and you go to the museum, you know, like art galleries and, mm -hmm. you know, being even in the office is very interesting, you know, the food they're eating, you know, the conversation, the culture is mm -hmm. really great, you know. It definitely affected my work, you know. Mm -hmm. And seeing like the individual, individual way, how they, like it's very, New York, you know, a lot find a lot of people in the street. They're mm -hmm. very individual. Mm -hmm. They love to wear what they would love to wear instead of following the trends. You know? Mm -hmm. you know, but you do see a downtown more. You know, they really individual. Sometimes you get the uptowns that are really fashionable. Mm -hmm. They all really look the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> similar, do they? Like similar boots. And yeah, similar, yeah, yeah. You know, like coats and yeah. things like that. You know, they just fashion a lot. Of the, Mm -hmm. But it's a good mix in New York. Good mix, no, yeah. yeah, really good mix, no. Mm -hmm. But then you go to parties, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Like always, you know, mix up, you know, like different culture. I particularly like, you know, um, when I go to like even like even like last, you know, the whole Korea party, it was really interesting mm -hmm. how they dress up, you know, like differently with the Chinese inspired clothes, mm -hmm. mix up the modern, uh, more uh, modern. Uh, the modern way of interpreting you know, the Chinese in you know, that party was really wonderful. It was mm. really great. Great. Thank you. I think that's. I mean, that's all the questions. What, what else? You, you have something else? Oh, no, sorry. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. 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 The party was really interesting, you know. You go to all these more like, like, um, like museum parties, you find it like quite interesting. It makes a fashion mm -hmm. culture. And the people are they dress up very different. Instead of going to the fashion party, you see everything in the mm -hmm. and like similar, you know. Mm -hmm. um, like even travel, you know, going to the plane is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Like all the mix of people, you know, like yeah. Yeah, in, 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 the, in the airport, in the and JFK. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, really fun to watch. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, just looking at, you know, more, I think mean, looking around yourself, you, just in New York City, it's, everything is really inspiring. Mm -hmm. The building, the restaurants, interiors, and, and the people who did around you just walking, you know, you find it very interesting. Yeah. Because so many people are here, different from different parts of the world, the way they dress, and a lot of times they mix their own, own goods. Exactly. Yeah. It's a good city. Huh? It's a good city. It's a good, it's a great place to, yeah. to be in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank I also you want so to say something about mm -hmm. that, you know, it was New York, give me the opportunities actually. Mm. Who I am you know, and doing what I'm doing. Otherwise, I cannot be who I am. You know. It give me the starting point. You know. mm -hmm. And when I now going back you know, to China, uh, and, uh, I mean, like I think in the '90s when I opened in my shops in Hong Kong, everybody don't believe that I'm be successful. Mm. Yeah. They say it's no way. You, know, you have to you have to put it together with other designers too. Mm. Because Chinese designer, you in Hong Kong open the shop, even the one from Hong Kong. But it proved wrong. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> you have 15 shops now. <laughs> it's really, I would say that, you know, like, you just have to believe what you're doing, you mm -hmm. know. If you, you deliver good work, I think people will get it. You know, you have your audience, like a beautiful art. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying that if you really have your heart of doing things, you put your heart into what you're doing, people will come to you. Mm -hmm. and you create your own audience, you know. And I think that, you know, you have love and heart in your work that you make you more and you have more and more audience. Great. Yeah. That's very important. And New York to give me this the the starting point, you know, and uh, to give me the opportunities. It was a hundred band give me the opportunities. I wait on the the opening dates. Yeah. Wow. Good good stories. <laughs> yeah.